Yo, what is up guys? We're back again what I believe this is part 10? 10? I think? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Yep, this is part 10. Anyway, right where we left off. Um, uh, we left off here. I believe we are reading well actually I believe we were supposed to read this uh, mysterious plate but I think I jumped into a legendary treasure or no the imaginary Pokemon can't remember where I left off <laughs> let's start off here mysterious plate yeah see during our descent into the area zero we came across a buried metal plate inscribed with a strange symbol we attempted to shave off a piece of the plate, but it failed to leave even a scratch. Even determining the nature of the metal seemed beyond modern science. We now we know not why the inscription made, was made, but alone, uh, let alone how. Okay, legendary treasure. Countless days into our descent, we reach it. Release, uh, reach at last the very depths of the great crater. There we found a cave with formation of gemstone, shining blindingly bright as far as we could see. Perhaps the strange light itself is the guardian set to cat to watch our treasure deep within the crater. And the imaginary Pokemon. Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> it looks like if the seven swords or the seven, no, oh, uh, seven, those those five Pokemon thingies are like into one. I don't know. A little weird. A drawing of a fantastical Pokemon, as evident as uh, envisioned by our sketch artist. The, the compactness and cruelty of the strange Pokemon that dwelled in the area zeros lower reach tickled the arti hardest imagination prompting this sketch of what other species that inhabit these depths might look like okay next one a phantom memory. A phantom memory. During the exploration of the area zero's depths, I he strayed from the team and was later found unconscious. When I awoke, I could only recall speaking with someone in an unfamiliar place, as if in a dream. I was found holding the page shown here, and handwriting is my own. But I have no memory of writing this. And what is this? Okay. Our generous sponsor. Okay. Our generous sponsor, the author Heath, pictured in the director of Uva, Uva Academy. The Academy's generous uh, funding made the, the Area Zero Expedition possible, and the data gathered has been shared with the Academy in hopes that it will aid in the institution's reach, research work, and foster future generations and scholars and scientists. Uh, about the author Keith author of the violet book shown here is uh, with Sparnus Saclasar a natural historian as well as a writer he was chosen for the area zero expedition and penned this account upon returning from the great crater of Pathea Saclasar aided the expedition as well by bearing the team's luggage and equipment 
Uh, a... Is Pokemon? What the hell is this? While separated from the research team in the creator's depths, I found a strange entity and yeah, right, entity with uh, a strange ent whether it was a Pokemon or or even on alien at all I know now it bore a small small with layer of overlapping I can't I don't know what that word is and geared I don't know and gleam brighter still then M stone I don't know what that is I have no idea. As a whole, it res, res, a mysterious, a disc. I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay. Well, that was that. I believe all these books have been read. If not, leave me in the comments saying that I was wrong. <laughs> Uh, interest in any classes? Oh, I'll come back to you on that. But first... Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do? I was supposed to do something. I just can't remember what. The news regulation ID. Okay, so let's see. I am supposed to go to the elevator. Staff room. I figured uh, probably through the staff room first and then go to the other places. The other classes, I mean. And then continue on with the story. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my in my stead. Sure thing. You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Who is this? Oh, pardon me. Who are you? Oh, DK, hey! Who was that? <laughs> uh, piqued an in interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's cool. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be. Really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in homeroom when I asked that your dream, what your dream was? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a strong, a really strong trainer, I've got an an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh wow! Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I wanna give you. Here it goes. The trainer who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the le the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You got to take a eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test uh, champion ass assessment. And once you pass that, then uh, 
at long last you'll be a champion it's very it's every pokemon trainer's dream the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get not to brag or anything i reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt you know oh the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here should happen soon our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go and uh, have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found maybe. I don't know yet. If that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I, I've got a feeling that I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. L let me go ahead and save the gym's location in, the, in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Interesting. Oh, okay. I'll go to the nearest one and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, the Pokemon Gym locations have been added to your map. Okay. Path of Legends, uh, Victory Road as well. Uh, give some thought. Ding ding dong ding ding dong dong. Calling Miss DK to the director's office, please. Great. Once again, Miss DK to the director's office, please. Ding ding dong dong dong. dong. Great. Just great. Okay, let's find out who these people are. Salvatore. Wow. Thanks for coming to say bonjour. Uh, a lot of the teachers here are real colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Rayfort, taking time out of your day to attempt to attempt to converse with me, you must be absolutely mad. Oh damn! I'm sorry. Uh, hello, DK. Feel free to come ask me any questions anytime. Now, why do they get to wear normal clothes? Uh, director's office? <laughs> I guess we're going to the director's office. Uh, is he passed out? Oh no. Thank you for coming, Mr. K. Have you been enjoying your time here at the, at the Uwa Academy? Sure. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked. Oh, great. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. <laughs> what friend? Oh no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. <laughs> okay. Why is this guy so handsome? Anyway, hello DK. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. You're Turo. Oh. I carry out Pokemon research with the greatest creator of Paldea at, at the site known as Area Zero.
The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. DK, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who traveled in the with the unusual Pokemon Miraidon. Is that correct? Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. A hey, not that uh, I I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance. Oi. Oi. Oh, how. Uh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Yes. Okay. Miraidon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assumed you received it from a young man called Arvind. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue to looking after Maridon on my behalf? Yes. I do appreciate your agreement. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobi mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it, ha it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. I will... I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Tudo. Don't tell me you actually did it. Uh, you know, don't just leave me with that cliffhanger. Talk to me, you idiot. <laughs> well, it seems that the professor is asking quite a favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with Maridon. So should I go to my classes? What 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 do I do? Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, DK? Off. Oh, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I uh, know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room. DK, let's go check it out. I just want to get to class. <laughs> I just want to go to class. Is that so hard? Ta 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 shan. What? Uh, from today on, this is your room, DK. Actually, it's a. a, 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 a actually, it's as new to me as it's to you. As it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from this all all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. 
I'll see you tomorrow, and when you've rested up, then we can battle even more. Take care. I guess... Bathroom? I guess I go to sleep. Ready to call it a day? You'll need rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Sure. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Yuva Academy, and then the last day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Yo, but I didn't even go to class. What the hell? I don't even... I'm so confused. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of, the, of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Oh, you're here quickly. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. I just wanted to go to class. They didn't even let me go to class. Where do you want to go? I guess we're going to the schoolyard. I really didn't get to go to class. Great. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Excellent! It seems everyone's here. Well then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of our new of your own treasure and have learned within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your on the explore Palde uh, Paldea's abundant nature soaked in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? Of course, your Pokemon partner will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always endure, treasure. I look forward uh, to welcoming you back, all back after the independent... Oh, I can't do that fast. I hate this. Return as you find young t uh, let's the treasure hunt begin onward that was horrible and to work a lot more on my reading ah uh, great <laughs> all these pokemon games always leave me hanging on some stuff a cyclozar toma yeah Oh, Tomaya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclozar, we're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Aldea is excitingly dangerous. Oh, it's exceedingly dangerous. Entering is in a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, DK? Let's go! Can't I still attend my classes? By any chance? Why? Cause I, I don't... I didn't really get to study anything. I didn't... I wanted to like explore that, I just didn't really get the chance to. See what happens if I go to classes. Good morning, Ms. DK. What class would you like to take? Biology. Uh, would you like to? Would you like biology with Mr. Jack? Yes. 
class will begin soon. Don't be late or tardy. I guess we're going to class now. Thank God. <laughs> hello, hello, my name is Mr. Jack and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you've learned here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in more depth. If, you, if you'd like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, uh huh? Can you... Uh, you can use the ZR button and throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around under f underfoot if you ask me. Now, once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond to uh, respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them be better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Uh, Pokemon... Uh, wow. Can anyone tell me where it is, where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Near the water, inside buildings, and tall grass. Near water? It is certainly true that some Pokemon aren't found a uh, font of water but you can do have floating po uh, platforms they they can use so being near water isn't an issue the correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors how could how about that some Pokemon might might damage walls desk and other things walking around inside buildings so it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors, okay? Anyone? I think I see them out and about in classroom from, from time to time, but still. Anyway, uh, anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your Pokemon, with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the CR button to throw a ball and let out the Pokemon inside. You can, you'll also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. It looks like the that's all the time we have for today. See you all next class. A little weird. Okay, let's see. Oh, good morning, DK. Uh, what classes would you like to take? Uh, yes, we're then. How many am I like supposed to do? <laughs> uh, class will begin soon. Don't be a party. Hello, hello. Uh, I hope everyone, uh, everyone's ready to learn. Uh, some new things today uh, Did you all try using the ZR button to let your Pokemon out as I thought I taught you in our last class? Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique the how unique and cute and cute they are I all I'd also highly recommend picnics from for the for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. 
it, you can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Saugaro's class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes while you're enjoying picnics with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. This very important something is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all say it together. I'm sorry, <laughs> I had to sneeze. Phew, you all got it, right? Uh, the very important something I'm talking about is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they are probably placed in the baskets rather, uh, rather stealthily by the Pokemon at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in the boxes, though uh, you need to have them in your party. And, they, and here's uh, one more super important thing I'd like, to, uh, like you to remember about eggs. Uh, Pokemon trust us with their eggs because they believe in us. So I'm, I sure would be happy to see you all begin responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. Whoops, my, my most important point came right as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna just attend all the classes and then I'm gonna do all the adventuring stuff. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I stayed enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys all next time. Laters.